Hello guys, welcome back. I'm super excited to be back and filming a design diaries again. Be back in my hometown and not um, as much as I love traveling, no more travel vlogs for a little bit. I'm just getting back to designing, working my business. I'm really excited because it's a new year, so I feel super motivated. I really struggled this morning though. I have the goal to go to the gym every morning and I tried to go at 6 a.m. I don't think I got out of the house till like seven. So cutting a little tight with getting back for work in time, but glad I went. And I hope everyone else is sticking to the New Year's resolutions already because if you can't do it this week, how are you supposed to do it for the rest of the year? That's what I've been telling myself and I think it's gonna help for at least the first couple weeks to stay motivated. So today's plan is I have to get a thumbnail, thumbnail created for these, this video going up tomorrow. I have like a fun idea for it. I'm not sure if I'm gonna be able to execute it the way I think. Work on some blog posts for the Red Lid consulting business. Do some, hopefully some posts and some reels for that, just to stock up on that for the week. And uh, let's start today's video. Okay, so I was working on the possible thumbnail for my next video, which is kind of about designing your life for 2023, reinventing yourself. So I thought it'd be kind of cool to like show yourself with a blue, blue, as like a blueprint and I used like an app to convert one of my pictures. It didn't make like a whole new thing of me, it just like converted one of my pictures into a more cartoon self. I think I might retake the picture of me holding the laptop though because that's a really old photo and like poorly photoshopped. I don't know, we'll see. I'm gonna play around with that. Yeah, so this year um, I really want to play around with my thumbnails a little bit more. I was reading this really interesting book called The YouTube Formula. My brother, I believe, got it for me last year. I just haven't finished it. And with my goal of a book a week this week, that's the book I'm trying to finish this week. And it talks a lot about the advertising on YouTube, kind of YouTube's history. It goes into a little bit of depth about like what patterns people take to help their channels grow and everything. And it talks about the importance of thumbnails and I feel like I always neglect them and focus so much more on the video, but the thumbnail is like an afterthought. And I really want to do something a little bit different, a little bit more creative this time, so. I will let you guys know how it goes when this thumbnail goes up and if it does make a difference with the initial video outreach. But I'm really excited to just play around with more creative things like that this year with my channel as well. Okay, so I want to kind of talk about chat gpt like that's what it's called uh which is the site that a lot of people have been talking about recently which is basically ai that will write you an essay or write you a blog or whatever explanation for the question that you enter it and i hadn't really thought to use it at all honestly I thought it was really interesting that it's original thought in the way that it can't be traced as like plagiarism and yeah i didn't think to use it at all and then this morning when i was at the gym i was listening to a gary v podcast and they were talking about how people have been using it to write blogs and he was saying you know it's kind of similar to people freaking out back in the day when tractors were introduced because they were worried that it was going to wipe out a bunch of jobs for people because you know people had a lot of jobs for taking care of the land and now it's been replaced by tractors he thinks this is the same kind of thing with this ai that can create written content for us just like the ai that is creating art as well at the moment but <laughs> i hadn't thought to use it for a blog and he said people were doing that and then they would just edit it and add their own little flair to it and, but i was thinking of using it for some blog ideas to help me get started i mean obviously i'd want to fact check everything and add my own flair to it but as <laughs> one person writing all the blogs for my business. It was really hard to pump out more than one blog a week. I think I only have three up on my website. So what do people think? What do you guys think? Is it morally wrong to have this AI help you write a blog? I mean, it's not a blog that's going to be spreading any medical misinformation or anything either, which I think is a little bit safer. It's not scientific. It's more like marketing related, which are usually like fairly easy concepts to grasp and fact check as well. But yeah, I was thinking I would use it to help me at least get started on some blogs. Yeah, so for anyone who has not used this before, basically you place your question up here. You can kind of explain what kind of format you want it uh, written in. So explain in a blog article format, save and sub submit, and then you watch it as it types out basically an entire blog or essay or whatever kind of written content you want right in front of your eyes, which is crazy. And I have to say, looking at it, it is not super original or exciting written material, which is nice to see. Like it definitely doesn't just like capture your eye or flow in an amazing way, but it does highlight 
you know, a lot of the points that you've mentioned and it really does help compile like a breakdown if you're having a hard time starting something. But I see how this could be really detrimental for school if people are writing essays with this. I think I read in an article online that they said it typically is creating B graded essays, not A, like it's not phenomenal. But if you're a student who's getting Ds and you start getting Bs because of this, big issue. So I wonder what they're gonna do to prevent that from happening in schools as well. But yeah, that's how it works for anyone wondering. This is how it turns out in the end. Good morning guys, back to vlogging again today. I didn't vlog yesterday because it was actually disastrous. I meant to go to the gym at like 6 a.m., didn't. Then it kind of like threw my whole sleep schedule off. I ended up rolling out of bed like right before nine to start work for the day and my whole productivity for the day was just me trying to just catch up. So today I'm off to a better start. I'm actually going to the gym at like 10, 15 or something today. Proud of myself to say I've gone every day this week, which I think is a good start to the new year. I hope everyone else is finding it. It's just easy to keep up with those goals this week. Today, actually, what I have to do is finish the painting. I think I mentioned that in the previous clips I vlogged. For someone who wanted this painting commission, finish that. Then I want to clear up my notion a little bit this morning, do some emails. And then it's a web template day because I didn't work on them that much yesterday because I was working on the painting. And then today I actually really want to finish up this ads course selection. And then I'm waiting to hear back on a client to build their website as well. But I think I'll be sending a proposal first of the kind of design that I hope we can create for them moving forward. So that's the goal for today. <laughs> to go this is the gym fit i love the like wide pant oh my goodness my camera strap the wide pant yoga pant fit at the moment i'm just feeling super out of shape going back to the gym for the new year but i'm excited to stay consistent so let's go so do you ever have those days where everything goes wrong because that's kind of been how my day has been. I had a meeting that I was expecting today to be canceled. I went to the gym, my foot, I had a bit of a blister because my shoes were fairly new. I thought it was gonna be okay, but I didn't bring a band-aid. My foot started bleeding all over my new white shoes. So I stopped, um, then I started feeling really under the weather. <sighs> so when I got home, I took a nap. I don't regret the nap. It's just like, I was ready to be productive today and now I'm not feeling so hot. But on the bright side, I just posted a new blog for theredlidconsulting.com. Yes, I did have AI help me with this one. As I mentioned at the beginning of this vlog, I was, you know, using that. I guess some people have been using it for a while, so I feel a little less weird about using it. I was just unaware. I'm very late behind with that trend. So I think I'm gonna continue to use it to help me kind of source content for the vlogs. Um, for Red Lid, it definitely sped up the process. And then I made a new Instagram post and graphic to go along with it too, which is also in the vlog. So that's good at least. I had those things ready to go today, but I'm really hoping I can pick up the pace for this afternoon, what's left of it at least, and kind of save my day work-wise. It is 6.51 p.m. I officially finished the painting. I can show you guys, I guess. It was a custom hockey painting for a friend of a friend. So, this is it. Okay, let's see if we can, there we go. I don't know if you guys can really see that. Anyways, I hadn't done a custom painting for someone in a while. <sighs> I'm a bit of a mess right now. Today has been honestly a fail. So I'm sorry I haven't vlogged much. I haven't really been feeling up to it. I honestly think I'm just gonna call it tonight. I'm done and start fresh tomorrow because sometimes I think that's the best thing you can do when you're having a bad day and nothing's going according to plan. It's just best to start fresh the next day. So I'm gonna read and go to bed and I will hope to vlog more tomorrow for you guys with some more optimistic and a better day and a better vibe, but we'll see. So that's it for tonight. I will see you guys tomorrow. This week has not been a very successful week. A lot of things have gone wrong. I won't go into too many details of what, just meeting cancellations I didn't expect, the art print I printed. <sighs> I had other people's input. I asked some family members about like how it looked. 
because I'm not really into hockey and it's a hockey print and I almost got like the stick handling side wrong but it's actually fine because there is no hockey stick in the photo or in the painting of the guy shooting so it's fine but because I was messing around with all of that I ended up erasing part of the print and I didn't check before I ordered and I just ordered it because I wanted to be over with it so the print was messed up which meant I spent money on printing something that I'm not going to give to the guy who ordered it because <laughs> Obviously there's a mistake, so I sharpied it out and I think I'm just gonna give that one to my brother for free. That was a fail. I had some fails at the gym this week. Meetings, like I said, just work, you know, taking a little bit longer. Overall, not the best week, but I have a lot to be thankful for. And I think I need to remind myself that, you know, I did go to the gym pretty much every day this week. I did stick to my book a week. I finished reading a book called The YouTube Formula. It's a pretty good book for anyone who's interested in even just marketing in general with YouTube, if, especially if you create on YouTube as well. Yeah, overall, life is not bad. Just had a few things that didn't go according to plan. I ordered a new print for the client, for the guy who ordered it, and that will be sorted for next week, and that will be done. No more with that art print that's been giving me hell accidentally. And yeah, so today I'm actually going to fix up my Red Lid Consulting website. There's a few things I need to add in there. Start working on some website templates because I've been putting that off all week. I really was supposed to do that on Wednesday and today's Friday. I'll take you guys along with me for all of that. What I've just done is fixed up some of the SEO for my Red Lid Consulting company website because I forgot when I, this is really bad, tisk tisk Alice, um, when I updated all the pages recently this year, I hadn't updated the SEO. So did that today. Then I did some fun little changes like fixing up the LinkedIn, Twitter, and Facebook banners. I don't really use those sites too much right now for outreach, but I want to make sure they still look decent <laughs> for now um i can show you guys what they look like i wanted to keep the same kind of theme if you see our red lid website which still needs editing in my opinion i did kind of like the fact that it has these like airpods the kind of like digital design background so i kept that theme consistent across by having kind of the laptop look for the red lid consulting website template page for facebook and then for twitter and this is actually the logo that we used on the instagram page as well so i wasn't sure which one to use for twitter i don't know it's either that or the red cap like this. And then we have the red cap for LinkedIn. Let's see the page. And I don't really use LinkedIn for the outreach. I'm trying to use Instagram as I feel like that's a good space for creatives. I don't know if you guys have any recommendations, but yeah, tried to keep it consistent with that whole AirPod laptop background. And I actually just got those images from Canva if anyone's wondering, but I just thought it matched up well with this. So that's what I also did for fun, but I'm glad I got the SEO all sorted and the Google Analytics just went through that as well. I need to set up the Facebook pixel because I wanna run some ads and I haven't done any of that for this yet, so that's the next thing I think I'm gonna do right now. Good morning guys, happy Saturday. I feel like I'm in a very good mood today, shaking off the tough parts of this week. I'm in a good mood too because today is just going to be a fun light day. I'm going to film a YouTube video for the week, I think. And right now I'm about to go get my nails done because talking about New Year's resolutions and everything, I definitely have more saving goals this year, but I also want to prioritize where I place my money. And one thing that makes me feel really good is to get my nails done. And I also find because I film a lot of art content or content regarding um, like working on website designs and stuff, my hands are always in view. And for like, it sounds really vain, but for like product shots or shots where like clips where I'm working on my website, I'd like to have my nails looking nice just for those. So I feel like it's almost like an investment in myself, but also any content made this year, even if that seemed really vacuous. I just feel like, you know, it's fit in with my saving goals this year. I think I can make it happen. It's definitely not something I prioritized last year. So anyways, that's my little rant about why <laughs> I'm gonna prioritize, you know, having my nails done this year. And it's also like a, a form of self care I find, you know, getting it done. I'm just vlogging on my iPhone, but I got my nails done. They're a bit thick on the white tip, but I think that's okay because I prefer even having these shellac and French nails because when they grow out, they just last a little longer. It's not so obvious when they grow out because it's your natural color underneath. Anyways, so now that I realized I'm out, I'm gonna go get 
the art print, the better one, because <laughs> I told you guys I made a mistake. I'm going to pick up the correct art print without the error in it this time for the guy who ordered it. So that's super exciting. I'm going to go drive to pick it up right now. <laughs> So I think I'm just going to close this vlog off here. It's been a bit of a funny start to 2023, but I'm glad that the print turned out okay in the end. The guy who ordered it is going to pick it up tomorrow. You know, things are looking up. Got a new website client coming in. And I think next week is going to be an even better week. So ooh, my hair is going a little wild. Um, I hope you guys are having an amazing week when this goes up and you guys see this. And I will see you all in my next vlog very, very soon.